Hi, I'm Anne Marie Williams. I'm a local artist and I'm here to give you some tips on painting. I'm going to be painting on a 16 by 20 inch stretched canvas. I've already prepped it with some liquid white which makes the canvas wet and I paint in the wet on wet style of painting. It's so much easier and I find it very enjoyable. I have my paints out. I have white, blue, black, crimson, brown, light brown, green and yellow. I'm going to start at the sky. I always start at the top. And like I said, I've already pre-wet the canvas with the thin even coat of liquid white. And I'm going to tap into my blue. And I'm going to start on the outside. And I like to always do it a little darker or along the outside edges. This is so much fun to paint. It's a really nice hobby. If you have time to do it, try Painting anytime you have some free time. I want to make it a little lighter in the center so I can just see the sun coming up over the center of the hills. But right now we're just going to put a nice smooth sky in here, maybe just a few little clouds, not much. Working around the center and as I go in it's going to get a little lighter and I want to mix just a little bit of a crimson and blue together and make a very pale lavender. So I mix that together, a little bit of white. Just the pink is a really pretty touch to it. There we go, we got a nice lavender. Blue and pink make purple. So we add a little white and we've got lavender. So the sky's gonna be a little lighter in the center here. I like to do little X's. It fills it in nice and easy. A little softer, yep. A couple of little clouds out on the outside. A couple of nice long sweeps back and forth. To do the clouds, I'm going to use a fan brush. The fan brush, I just take the corner and take a little bit of white on the corner. And then I flip it over and do the other corner. The reason I do that is that way I don't have to go back to my palette as often. And up in here is a little bit of a cloud. When I do the clouds, I'm holding the brush and going in that angle. Little teeny circles. And when I run out of paint, you can see there's hardly any paint. I flip it over. I have nice fresh paint again. And here we go with another row of clouds. Take my one inch brush. It's nice and soft. And I'm just going to tap out the base of the clouds in a nice loose fashion. <clears throat> I don't want to have it all one color. By doing it nice and loose, it gives the clouds a nice body. They're not always the same, so when you're looking up at the sky in five minutes, it'll be something different. I have a blender brush, very soft hairs, and I'm just gonna go very softly over the sky. Oops, get a little extra, you can just blend it away. Gives a nice pretty look. I'll put another row of clouds in underneath and let them flip up into the next ones. Get some white on that corner, flip it over just like I did before, get some more white on. I really load it up pretty good so that I have plenty of paint on there. And I'm gonna come up here and just go up over that one you can see the difference, it puts the other cloud in the background. Yeah, there's a big gob right there, we'll just blend it away. The sky is such a pretty thing to paint and after you start learning how to do these clouds, you can look up at the sky and you go, oh, I can paint that. It's lots of fun. I'm gonna do the same thing again, just tap around. You can see I'm going in little circles, picking up a lot of that blue, not a problem. when I get to the end I usually go and just make them off to the distance. Get my blender brush and I'm just going to go very softly. Gives lots of nice body. There we go. Pretty sky. I want to lighten up the center there where I'm going to have some sunlight coming in. I'm going to go back into my titanium white or my bright white 
and just lighten it up just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of pink in here. The next segment, I'm gonna put some trees in and a waterfall and it'll be so pretty to see. I hope you can join me for it. Got to clean up the bottom just a little bit so that we have a nice straight horizon line. And that's it as far as the sky is concerned. I hope you enjoyed watching. It's a lot of fun. And maybe I'll just bring this one cloud out a tiny bit more. And we'll Stay tuned for the next segment. It'll be a lot of fun to watch and I'll put in a little waterfall and a couple of trees and we'll see what happens in the woods. Thank you, have a great day.